G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Today I'm reviewing a product that might make the hanging of gates a little bit easier. Instead of having to drill multiple holes and having to line them all up to millimetre perfect, this product promises to only have to use two holes and make the process faster with a specialised thread. So this week I'm having a look at Rotec Rural's Faster Fit Hinge Kit with their Acme Thread. Let's see if it's up to the goods in hanging this beautiful Australian made Murray Gate. <laughs> now first things first of course we've got to measure up the job. Regardless of the gate hinge kit you use you're going to want to use a plumb line in this case a piece of hay band with a large nut tied to the end so that you get your gate absolutely straight up and down regardless of the post and where it's sitting. Now we've got our plumb line, we can start measuring up for the hinge kit. Now with your industry standard gate kits like this one here, there's four holes to drill. You'll be needing to drill two holes at the bottom, one where the bottom of your gate's expected to be and another a full two inches below it. That can sometimes lead to fouling in the dirt and having to dig away some of the soil around the post. Of course there's a trick with the top hook as well. You've got to drill two holes two inches apart and space them evenly off the centre line. It's not too hard but people get it wrong quite often. The fast fit gate hinge set has a four inch offset to the bottom gudgeon pin that goes in the gate. This four inch offset should mean that the gate doesn't wobble too much even though you've only got the one pin. So the first hole you're going to be drilling will be four inches above where you want the base of the gate to be. One hole straight through the post. Same with the top bracket. We're going to drill a hole straight through the post, one hole, 34 and a half inches above the bottom pin. Now I will point out that it took a bit of persuading to get this through the hole. The largest auger bit I had was 18 mil. Seems like you probably need a 19 but I'd rather a tight hole than a sloppy one any day. This is where the next nice surprise with this gate set comes in. Instead of using standard fine thread, you use a coarse Acme thread that's not only strong, but does up really quickly by hand. So you're not there with a shifter just going like crazy forever. Good move, I like this Acme thread. This time I went in and out a couple of times with the 18 mil auger bit and gave it a bit of a wobble around. Bob's your uncle, in she went. Next bit's the really easy bit. You just whack on the gate and do up a couple of nuts to keep your top end assembly in place. So there you go. It certainly is a faster fit hinge set. I love the Acme thread and with the two adjustment points, I can alter my gate and get it swinging perfectly. The main thing with this I suppose some people are going to worry about is that it's only got two pieces of steel holding it onto the post, not four. But it does make the job of locating your gate and hanging the gate so much easier and so much faster. I'm sure some people are bound to love it. And with the 18mm thread size rather than your standard 16, it's got a bit of extra strength in those two contact points as well. For my mind, this is a ripper. Just bear in mind too with the Rotec stuff you don't get your hook and latch kit with your gate hinge kit you have to buy it separately. I guess that's because they've got a few different varieties of kits and you get to choose what you want but I think it would pay to remember that when you're ordering. Hello honey. Guys I hope this was a helpful video if you like this sort of thing don't forget to hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up and there's plenty more content like this and more on timthompson.ag. See you next week.